Dr. Sir Sam Jonah, the Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Professor Abin Reku, Chairman of Council, members of the University Council, Professor Rosemont Bohin, the Pro Vice Chancellor, Mr. John Te Imano Nyame, Registrar, Nananum Provost Deans, Heads of Department and Directors of Academic and Administrative Units, Members of Convocation, Director of Design Thinking and Innovation Hub, UCC, Managing Director, Prudential Bank, Managing Director, Halat Insurance Company, Staff and Students, Friends in the media, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I bring you greetings from our strategic partners in the East Coast of the United States. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you on behalf, we are doing Sankofa, on behalf of the University Council and Management to celebrate with us the occasion of adoring of another important unit of the University of Cape Coast by the Design Thinking Innovation Hub. Sir Chancellor and Chairman of Council, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, in recent times, the global trend in higher education is the integration of critical core skills in curricula. The practice does not only produce graduates who are academically astute, but also creative thinkers and entrepreneurs in their orientation. It is for this reason that the Design Thinking and Innovation Hub, being established by the university, becomes important. Sir Chancellor and Chairman of Council, most government and stakeholders across the globe and most significantly within the sub-region are gravely concerned with the rising incidence of youth unemployment. The University of Cape Coast is convinced more than ever that the hub will become a major pivot around which nurturing brilliant and innovative ideas of students, staff, and the Ghanaian community will become possible. Indeed, since becoming the Vice Chancellor of this university, it has been my major preoccupation to help transform UCC into the world class entrepreneurial university aimed at addressing programs associated with graduate unemployment, job creation, and economic growth in the sub region more generally and in Ghana in particular. Sir Chancellor and Chairman of Council, the establishment of the hub. It's even more crucial because as managers and stakeholders within the higher education space, we were all convinced that the critical mass of innovative ideas of students in tertiary institutions is largely left untapped. A lot more research output is gathering dust on shelves, and it is for this reason that the hub is being established by UCC. It is envisioned that the hub would provide both the physical and intellectual space that will enable faculty, staff, and students to explore how design thinking might support teaching, scholarship, and service. The ultimate aim is to harness these ideas and grow them into viable businesses through entrepreneurship, innovation, and continuous improvement. The D-Hub will serve as experiential learning center for students, interns, researchers, businesses, and industries. In collaboration with the University at Buffalo, our strategic partner, we hope to design and implement approved credit-bearing and non-credit-bearing micro-credentials. Micro-credentials may be awarded to participants to come firm professional competences acquired. The micro-credentials 
will be issued for learning opportunities that take less time than degrees and certificate programs. It will focus on specific knowledge and skills that are explicitly aligned to the workforce competences. The modalities for the award of the micro-credentials will be outlined. The center will work in harmony with students, academic and professional staff through proposal submission. In line with the experiential learning, a career advisory desk will be set up for participants, particular students to seek help on projects, how to source for fund and prepare curriculum vital among others. Oral and workshop will be organized from time to time to enable participants to interact with experts. Finally, and more crucially, Sir Chancellor and Chairman of Council, I'm convinced that the creation of the hub for which we are all here today will be in the long run help improve knowledge transfer with industries across Ghana. It will also ensure that academia and industry work to closely together and maximize the social and economic benefits of new ideas in areas such as information and communication technology, agriculture, mining, oil and gas, tourism, agro-processing, building and construction, horticulture, and other economic and social advantages. Sir Chancellor and Chairman of Council, when I assumed office as a Vice Chancellor of this great university, I was determined and still focused on repositioning UCC as a global hub of creative thinkers, offering demand-driven programs integrated with practical and entrepreneurial courses and actively translating the products of its innovative research for sustainable development. Closely related to this vision was my singular conviction that under my leadership, I intend to ensure that UCC creates a niche by providing quality, equitable, and inclusive education that empowers the graduates to be independent, lifelong learners, and responsible citizens who have passion for job creation while contributing to public service. Sir Chancellor, Chairman of Council, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, since the time I made this solemn pledge, we have seen some modest successes, and some of which but not limited to the stride that the Directorate of Research, Innovation, and Consultancy are making. It may interest you to know that the Directorate is mandated to oversee research and consultancy services within the university and beyond. As part of its mandate, the Directorate is charged with the implementation of investors research agenda part of their effort culminated in UCC emerging as the overall best in terms of worldwide research impact within the Times Higher Education University ranking for 2022. <laughs> Sir Chancellor and Chairman of Council, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, our Office of International Relations continues to bridge gaps with international partners by creating linkages among staff and students abroad. The University of Cape Coast has faced its challenges in the past. It is therefore noteworthy that we would continue to create innovative strategies under my leadership to transform the university into a formidable world-class entrepreneurial university with a global and competitive edge. Permit me to congratulate the entire team that worked tirelessly from the inception of this project to the final stage of its inauguration. On behalf of the University of Cape Coast Management, we have done it already, <laughs> but we'd like to wel welcome you to the launch of the Design Thinking and Innovation Hub. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>